the most affordable RTX 30 series GPU so far. Highlights Performance is good at 4K with ray tracing and DLSS in some games. NVIDIA says this GPU beats the GeForce RTX 2080T. Asus claims its youth gaming series uses durable components. Pros Runs almost completely silent. Understated look. Good performance at 4K and 1440p. Cons. Extremely large. More expensive than Founders Edition model. Ratings, out of 5. Performance, 4. Value for money, 4. Overall, 4. Architecture and specifications. As its name suggests, the GeForce RTX 3070 is a smaller implementation of NVIDIA's new Ampere architecture than its siblings, the GeForce RTX 3080 and 3090. It uses all the same building blocks including NVIDIA's second-gen ray tracing cores and third-gen tensor cores for eye acceleration, which includes NVIDIA's DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling, Resolution Upscaling Tech. On the more traditional shader operations side, NVIDIA says it has doubled the throughput of floating point calculations. Design and Features As you might have guessed by the 220 watts TDP, the GeForce RTX 3070 requires serious cooling. For this model in its youth gaming series, Asus has developed a massive three-fan assembly fitted in an all-aluminium shield with a vented metal backplate. The three fans use an axial design with the one in the center spinning opposite to the other two to reduce noise and improve airflow. They only spin up when the GPU temperature crosses 55 degrees so you don't have to worry about noise at idle. The heatsink itself isn't huge, but it is very wide and spread out in three sections with multiple heat pipes snaking their way around between them. You can see all of this as the sides are fully exposed rather than being enclosed in a shroud. This means also means that hot air is expelled within your PC case, not channeled out through the back. This is gigantic card and it will occupy three slots in your cabinet, Asus calls it a 2.7 slot design which leaves some room for air movement but not much else. It measures 299.9 by 126.9 by 51.7 mm. It will hang over the edge of a standard ATX motherboard. It's also quite heavy and does feel very solid. Performance I set up the Asus Youth Gaming GeForce RTX 3070 using exactly the same hardware that I tested the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Founders Edition card on, which should make direct comparison easy. This rig is comprised of an AMD Ryzen 2 2700X CPU, a Gigabyte Aorus X470 Gaming 7 Wi-Fi motherboard, 2x8 GB of G. Skill F43400 C16 D16 GSXW DDR4 RAM, a 1TB Samsung 860 EVO SSD, and a Corsair RM650 power supply. The monitor is a 4K Asus PB287Q. I installed all the latest Windows 10 updates prior to testing. NVIDIA supplied a pre-release version of its 456.96 driver for testing purposes. Verdict NVIDIA's official base price for GeForce RTX 3070 cards, including its own Founders Edition product, is Rs. 51,000 in India. That might seem excessive, but that's only because of Indian taxes and import duties. Asus has priced its youth gaming GeForce RTX 3070 at Rs. 54,500, plus taxes, which is definitely a premium. Of course everything depends on actual availability, as we've seen over the past month, the scarcity of higher end GeForce RTX 30 series cards has given dealers the opportunity to raise street prices by 15-25%. Meanwhile, the Radeon RX 6800 is also poised to offer stiff competition to the GeForce RTX 3070, if AMD's own promotional figures are to be believed. We don't know much about how AMD's implementation of ray tracing will work yet, except that it's based on the DirectX 12 standard. Of course you might also want to consider the Xbox One X or PlayStation 5 which are also just around the corner so you really are spoiled for choice. If you're looking to buy a graphics card right now, 
this is a good option that will serve you well for many years. On the other hand, waiting another month or so might make sense, since so much is about to change in the near future. Thank you. Audio Jungle